Have you ever woken up in the morning to notice that your alarm clock reads 541? I don't know about you, but it makes me think of these. Back in the garage with Gas Pump Rob. We have here a pair of Bennett 541 gas pumps. They are basically farm fresh. The one on the left, as you may know from my previous video, was from Northern California. And the one on the right was from my Iowa Gas Adventure from this summer. The good news is both pumps are complete. They have the pumping mechanisms, the wiring, the meter unit, everything's intact. Unfortunately, which is a very, this is a very common problem, both pumps are completely locked up. They won't turn at all. So the next step is to free up both pumping units. I am going to remove this access port right here, which I loosened previously. I'm going to spray penetrating oil down there and some maybe some ATF and try to work it loose. Same thing on this one, frozen up. We'll see what happens. These are my three favorite products that I use to free up the pumping units. Alright, we'll let that sit for a little while and see if that helps the situation. Okay, here we go. That's one down, one to go. And the Rio Grande pump. I'll work it back and forth so I don't force anything. OK, 
Okay, it's, it's freeing up. Okay. Let that sit a little bit more. And the next step will be to wire up the motors. Okay, I just completed wiring both pumps up. I wired not only the lights, but also the motors. The Rio Grande pump on the left took quite a bit more uh, effort to free up. We'll see what happens here. Both light switches are turned on and both motor switches are turned on to the best of my knowledge. And I want to uh, let you guys know I have both cords hooked to a power strip. And what I'm going to do is reach over Flip on the power strip and we'll see if we have some action here. Yes! Alright. tell you how satisfying it is to take an old pump like this that was in a barn stored away for many many years and actually getting it to run. Now getting to pump is a whole different story as you know from my Gilbarco 80 experience video but just to fire one of these off and hear it run after all those years of sitting is a thrill for me. It's like pulling an old tractor or an old car out of a barn and engine is seized up but you free it up and you get it running that's basically all I can tell you if you have not done this yet and you can do so I highly recommend it just use safety and precautionary measures you know what I'm going to do here.
what we have here is a Gilbarco 103 clock face. This pump came out of a underground garage somewhere in New York. It was actually a veterinarian's pump. I just placed a bucket under the suction input and I'm going to go ahead and fill it with some diesel and see if this thing runs tonight. Okay, let's see if you guys can follow this. This Gilbargo nozzle leads over to the GMB 103 clock face pump. The brass nozzle laying on this 15 gallon drum leads over and connects to the Gilbarco or Gilbert and Barker 80. I'm going to run the pump simultaneously and because that one has a small reservoir, I'm going to take the discharge from the 80 to refill that bucket as needed with both of these pumps in action, running and pumping. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to flip the outlet switch on. Now I have to fill this up. Pretty cool. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it seems like the clock face pump pumps faster because I can't keep up, barely keep up. Although the GMB-80 has a bigger nozzle, larger diameter, and it's flowing real well. Now watch the, uh, look at that, the clock face is running out of diesel fuel. Look, it's spitting. <laughs> 